make a decision and hopefully it works out the way it's supposed to or the way you want it to as, as far as succeeding but sometimes you, you sometimes you lose and you got to be willing to lose because it, that way if you don't if you're not willing to lose you don't win taking losses is about taking risks smart risks though because smart risks are the way you make the gains I mean, we are speculators. I think we're paid to take a risk. And that's why it's called speculation. But I think, you know, the difference, again, is, is isn't that, you, you know, you bet the farm and hope it all turns out. That's not a risk to me. That's recklessness. And I think that, you know, the really effective, the, the study, the experienced investor is one who, who knows how to take the risk, but take it in a smart way. If I'm going to go to a casino, I'm going to budget out 800 bucks. If I lose it, what do I care? It was, I spent it. I didn't lose it. Fine. Go nuts. But if, if, if you got your son's tuition fund and a couple of IRAs and, and, you, and you're hitching your wagon to some stocks that you saw on Kramer, I'm here to tell you that that's foolhardy. Risk really has to do with how do you go to bed at night and what are you willing to risk to get the reward that you want. That's really what it is. It's a trade-off. It's not necessarily bad because you need risk to get the reward. So that, to me, that's a good. That's a good thing.